So the other night I was thinking, I went to sleep thinking about my uncle. There we go. The other night I went to sleep thinking about my uncle and um, he was in my dream. We had lunch. But I didn't get to talk to him, though, because I was so focused on where my mom was at in the airport. And um, I woke up feeling guilty. Like, he must have saw me thinking about him or heard me. And he said to himself, I'm going to show up in her dream. And I don't feel like I really took advantage of the fact that he was eating with me to talk to him. And I don't, I didn't want him to feel offended that I didn't, um, because my mind frame wasn't, oh, it's him. I haven't seen him in a long time. My mind frame was like, he's always been here. You know, this is another day. Um, but hopefully he knows that, but it was, it was trippy, but I appreciated it. Um, welcome to She Gets a Podcast. My name is Shan. This is episode nine. New ways to think. Because thinking is all we do. Welcome to adulting. (laughs) I'm glad people are meditating more and it's becoming more of a norm. And people need a calm. They need to learn how to disconnect from everything that's going on. They need to relax, regroup, and form their own perspective on life. A lot of us grew up being taught a lie. And... Now we're in a position of control where we don't discover that in order to believe something new, we have to unlearn to gain new knowledge. And some for some people, it's too late. For some people, it feels like too much to tackle. For some people, they're just like, well, I've always been celebrating it. I'm just going to continue, even though they know it's a lie. And um, But now we know better, and I want to talk about it. I want to talk about changing how you think finding new ways to think and what's that what is going to take welcome to she gets a pot you remember that noriega song <laughs> Ooh we it wasn't that a um neptune's beat amazing um but back to these uh back to this topic table topic time table topic time i need to put me on a commercial because <laughs> Ooh wee. table topics the stack i have is called do-it-yourself therapy and this one says these two first question which of your mother's silly instructions do you still obey my mom really didn't give instructions she always let us vibe out which is why I am like this. Second question, is your mind more open or closed? My mind is always open. I'm a receiver, baby. <laughs> Table topic time. Table topic time. I need one more card. Um <sighs> All right. What physical attribute makes you insecure even though you know it's silly? Um When I was younger, I used to be embarrassed by the fact that I have little hairs on my nose. And I still have them to this day. But when I was younger, it was more vivid they're not dark hairs they're just light little fuzz hairs and my brothers used to always tease me about my fuzzy nose but i don't care about it no more next question do you think of your age as a positive or a negative i think it's a positive because i still look like i did when i was on my college id when i was 18 and nobody ever believes that I'm the parent when I'm with other people and my girls. Um, and 
I don't ever want to get to an age where I look like I should be wearing a blouse instead of a shirt. <laughs> so there's that. What are the thoughts that keep you not doing the shit you're supposed to do? And how many times in a week do you prove yourself wrong because you doubted yourself, but you still came through? I think we all have to be aware of things that we continuously keep thinking about ourselves that are not helping us, that are holding us up, that are stalling us out, that are um, limiting our opportunities because we're always scared to bet on ourselves. And we have to be aware of the negative things we tell ourselves because We can't blame anybody if we are the ones that are telling ourselves that we can't or we won't or that's dumb or nobody else is doing that. Why should you do it? Or this must be a scam because it sounds too good. Like we have to learn that I trust you, you trust me, I got you. And that is you talking in the mirror because sometimes in life you are put in a position to only trust you and have your back. And you have to come to grips where that is something that has to be okay sometimes. All right. And so I say this to say that a lot of our minds are not clear because one, we need some damn sleep. Okay. Sleep in a clean house, in a clean space, in a welcoming environment You can't rest surrounded by chaos and karma. I'm going to say that one more time. You cannot rest surrounded by chaos and karma. Okay? Next up. What are you feeding your mind and your spirit? Who are you listening to on a daily? Who are you around? Are you around people that are complaining all day? Are you around people that... Uh, don't make a change but always have a complaint are you around um, people that are watching negativity because there's no live negativity going on right now are you watching something that's constantly inappropriate are you eating more dead shit or live fresh foods our living bodies cannot run on death alone okay You're living backwards. Even if, you know, my parents passing motivate me to be this. You're also going to have to have some living people that motivate you to be better too. You cannot run your mind and your body on death alone. That's what I mean. Now, you got that down. You have to think about what your daily routine is like. Is it helping you execute what you need to execute or is there something you need to switch up? Okay. Family. A lot of people like to say the family is all you got. All you got is family. Sometimes you ain't even got that. Some family you ain't got at all. Okay. And sometimes family is not all you got and good thing that's not all you got. A lot of times your family is like-minded creative people. Find out what time in the day you need to start in order to be more efficient throughout the day more effective Um, be more consistent about your routine that you set up be accountable for you okay be early to where you need to be at so you have more options and please do your best to get rid of any distractions that you don't want because they're stopping you from your growth. It will strengthen your intuition with yourself. Pay close attention to your feelings around certain people, your mood, okay? Pay attention to your feelings after you eat certain things, after you drink certain things, after you watch certain things. Try to be spontaneous. Sometimes a constant routine that is not healthy um kind of makes you complacent and not changing because you're so used to it and so you have to force yourself to get out your own way by doing something different or be around someone that you respect that you trust that will maybe take you to an art museum 
and they didn't say where they were headed or they take you to an art gallery or some type of lounge where people are playing live music or doing poetry or having good drinks or they take you to like a day party where you meet other people and you see that oh there's another level of living a lot of people have a closed mind because they've never been anywhere else they haven't explored anywhere else they haven't seen people live differently and we have to be mindful of the fact that if you don't travel and you don't explore don't be surprised that the people that you're around are ignorant Okay, you have to be around something different. You have to try something new in order to in order to see new things. And just because your dad thought it, your mom thought it, your grandma thought it, your grandpa thought it, doesn't mean you have to think it. Do your research, read, find out why things were how they were in their time, find out the truth, and choose. Do I want to keep saying this? Do I want to tell my kids this? Do I want to tell my wife this? Do I want this to be our standard? And if that's something you don't want, then you don't have to continue it. Okay? Refresh your thinking. Switch some things around in your life. Switch out some people. Okay? They can't all come. And um, switch around your feng shui. Move out your environment if it's not healthy. Helping, helping. <laughs> um, you know, I'm all about feng shui. I'm all about like, if I feel stagnant, if I need a fresher idea, then I got to do something different. I got to do something fresh. And so that's my whole point behind it. I want y'all to be great. You have options out here. Don't feel stuck. Just refresh, reboot, all that shit. I'll check y'all next week. Shan, I'm not, I don't, I don't know what this text mean, okay? I just know it's something crazy, because you said Baylor would love to sub down, and we could stop right there and analyze those first five or six words, okay? Baylor would love to sub down. Sub down what, uh, Shan? Hmm. Hmm. Something hot in his throat. In my throat. <laughs> Y'all think I be making shit up. Listen to me, you little motherfuckers. I ain't gotta make shit up to y'all, okay? When I tell you Shan needs to take her medication, okay? Listen to what I'm telling you, okay? This whole week, she ain't hear me out. This whole week I'm about to act a fool. Why? Because my birthday is on the 23rd, right? 